Hi you guys, it's Miss Faith. I'm just coming to you to do a really short and quick video. Um, and as you can tell by the title of this video, this is more so for accountability. Now I'm coming to you guys in the raw. Um, I know I look a mess and I'm not really even concerned about it because <laughs> I just, um, well first things first, when I originally started my YouTube channel, which I think it was back in like 2000 and eight maybe I can't even really remember but it was more so like a hair diary um there was you know I was going natural and there was a you know a lot of things a lot of hair goals that I had for myself or whatever and I was trying to reach them and my YouTube channel was helping me um with accountability but here lately I've noticed that I've kind of slacked off on you know my hair videos and consequently I've been really kind of slacking off on my hair altogether um, today I'm coming to you as you can see my hair is straightened I'm actually about to wash it out but I thought that I put this video out um, just kind of as um, therapy for myself um, and to kind of maybe hopefully I will get some um, other people to kind of go on this hair journey with me now if you some of you guys if you've been following me for a while um, a lot of those videos I had to take down because of um, copyright reasons I'll explain that stuff to you guys um, in another video but long story short I was using like music on those videos and you can't do that if you're gonna um, if you're gonna uh, make money off your videos it has to be all original content so a lot of those videos I took down but um, if you guys have been following me for a while you know that um, I had issues with my sides um, a couple of years back and I had grown them out a lot I was just looking at some videos well not videos I was looking at some pictures that I had in my computer computer of my hair or whatever how you know I had really um, met a lot of my hair goals or whatever so you know I recently had my baby I haven't forgot about we had my baby I haven't forgotten about um, getting my birth story to you guys it's just that every time that I would sit down to do it um, you know my baby would wake up or he would need something and then sometimes you know my birth story was just so beautiful I would just get emotional and then be like oh god I can't record today but anyway I will get to it um, that's a fact I will get that out but um, today I'm just coming to you. This is accountability. I have to start um, doing better. I'm going to start back up my YouTube videos uh, on my natural hair. I know I've ventured off into a lot of other series, the whole Mrs. Kathy's Kitchen and the Baby Chronicles. But um, to my faithful followers, you guys here from the beginning, um, you know that originally I started this channel as natural hair. And here recently I've had a couple of people reach out to me. Uh, most of the people that I know personally like, oh, what's up with your videos? You're not putting your hair videos up anymore. So I'm going to get back on that. But today I am starting with myself. Okay, so you guys can see where the length of my hair is. To me, my hair has not grown much at all. And I'm not happy about that because, you know, I don't know. Some of you guys know that I'm, I um, am, well, was on a uh, waist length. Um, hair journey or whatever but at the rate I'm going I'm not going to get there so you know I really have to get back on it I used to be so on and washing my hair every week and I'm showing you this hair because I got my hair straightened maybe about two weeks ago and I've been wearing it on a ponytail it's dry um, and after I had Matthew I was looking over some pictures of him and myself and I was wearing my hair back in a ponytail and I have really just I mean just damaged my my edges so much and I'm gonna post up some pictures um, for you guys to see my um, edge you know growing out my edges I don't know what kind of journey you would call that but growing out my edges journey and I really you know came a long way I was using my peppermint oil and you know I'll talk to you guys about um, what I was doing when I grew that out um, well but I can tell you now I was basically just using um, an essential oil well the essential oil that I was using was peppermint oil with a carrier oil at the time I think I was using um, was it jojoba? I think it was olive oil extra virgin olive oil and I was just putting it on my edges every night before bed and making sure that I had my satin um, pillowcase and scarf and my edges grew out beautifully or whatever and now I have destroyed them again or whatever like hereditarily you know the women in my family we have problems um, with our edges, my mom, my grandmother, my great grandmother, my aunts, my sister, all of us have like really thin edges or whatever. So that's not, it's not too much that I can do about it, but I know a lot of this has been, um, has stemmed from me 
not taking care of it and pulling it back in a ponytail too much. For like two weeks straight, I was wearing my hair in this really high ponytail and it pulled out my edges. So, we're back on it. We're back to the edges journey and back to my waist length journey and this video is accountability so you guys hold me to it if you see me slipping if you know me personally then you have my permission to say something to me <laughs> and for those of you who follow my blog if i'm not uploading hair videos you have my permission to say something to me i have to get back on it um i grew so much hair after my pregnancy and it's not there why because i had to cut it off because my edges were shabby and look at it i mean even in the back it's just like yes I'm putting this out oh there goes a the little man so I have to go <sighs> however the point of this video accountability so expect more videos from me because they are coming because I have to get this hair back on track so while I'm doing so I'm taking you with me let's go